Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I am Psychic Bella Love. You can book your own personal private reading with me on my website at psychicbellalove.com. You can use coupon code YouTube, all in caps, for $10 off any reading on the site. They've already been discounted for the summer. Plus, you can add on energy healings to any appointments. And there is also the option for emergencies, skip the line readings as well. You can also join my Patreon for exclusive content that we never post over here on YouTube. That's where we talk about who's in the Jakumatati, conspiracy theories, all of that kind of stuff that we can't address over here. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and also follow me on Instagram because when I do have specials or anything else that's always going to be on there first and I also only take video requests on Patreon so all that information will be linked down below so I wanted to take a look at um basically just like sort of the financials around the Girardi case I will probably still like do a deeper dive reading into some of the other stuff on it there's so much, like literally every day, there's new, the bankruptcy court is suing this. These people came forward and are asking for that. This person's digging into this. So there's a lot of shit to unpack here. I wanted to focus more on, is there any money that they're going to be able to recover from Tom? And then what is Erica's responsibility going to be in this going forwards? <coughs> So, Spirit, please join me and answer any questions that we have in regards to Tom Girardi, Erica Girardi, all of these lawsuits, looking for my money. Thank you, Spirit. We're asking only with the intention and purpose of clarity and understanding, so we know the truth, not with any bad intent, just so that we know which path to take forward. Thank you, Spirit. Amen. Oh my goodness. And if you guys saw now all these other, because they have this, um, I guess he's like a forensic accountant lawyer or something where he's basically trying to find the money. And I think his name is Ronald Richards. He's kind of, you know, been a lot out on Twitter tweeting about the case and stuff. And I guess he's pulled up a lot of other info on some of the other housewives and apparently like half the cast of like Beverly Hills is getting sued for something or other at this point, which is crazy. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But it's just funny how all these housewives shows and people, it's like now the exposing has moved down to like that level and it's like well guess what they're not any better than the people that rent purses to show up on instagram after all are they because <laughs> it's like oh you know lisa rent has this big beautiful house but they owe 10 million dollars on it in the mortgage like you know there's all that kind of stuff where it's like yeah I'd, i don't think i would want to have to have a 10 million dollar mortgage i am good all right Okay, so we're looking at, you know, is there any money that they can recover from Tom's end of things right now? Um, now, this is the thing, you guys. I kept hearing that there is money in, like, offshore accounts, you know? So, it's not, they're not going to just find everything at Bank of America and in Tom's basement and, you know, under the mattress or whatever. It's, there is layers and layers and layers to this. And I don't feel that the government is going to be able to trace every last penny. So it is talking about them being able to recover like a percentage of this money, either through liens, judgments, you know, forced, um, asset you know forfeiture where they come along and they're like we're gonna take all your cars and all your art and all your jewelry and sell it at auction and then whatever we get from that we're paying you know back into these victim funds but it doesn't feel like they're going to completely 
recover everything. It feels like, oh, like I keep hearing it's like, for example, if say it's like you owe these people $30 million, they're able to recover five or six million of it. So it's not going to be a whole lot, especially because there's so many people in so many different directions that have, you know, an interest in this and are looking to get their payment and are like, whoa, wait, you know, five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you still owe me on my settlement from that. There's, it's, it's not going to cover even the slightest bit of things. So I do see Erica really under a lot of scrutiny of what can we get out of her and where can we get money from her because obviously Tom is old, you know, he's what, like 80 years old. So even if he wasn't declared with dementia, how much really more can you work? Because especially at his age and especially with the things that he's being accused of and the situation that he's in. It's like, even if he was capable of working and paying it back, nobody's going to hire you as their lawyer to pay them back. What the hell else are you going to do? Write a book? Like you're going to have to do something, but it wouldn't be enough. He's not capable of bringing that kind of money back in anyways. And they're going to say, Hey, <laughs> We need it from somewhere because it really does feel like these lawyers with this magician card and this page of coins, they're going to be, oh, you know what? This crystal might be worth 10 cents. We're going to take it. You know, they're going to be trying to get anything and everything that they can out of him in any way, shape or form, because obviously there's people that are owed. So... All right, let's see what's coming for Erica. This is with Tom. It's like we had the chariot and then the wheel card in reverse. Talking about it's gone and it's going to be very hard to find all of it. And if I did do another reading previously, please go. I always forget to link videos because I upload everything from my phone and I always forget to go back in the studio on the desktop and do all the extra stuff but I'll try to remember to link it but um I did do a previous look at you know did Erica know about this and it was sort of a don't ask don't tell where the money is coming from but did she have any idea that this is where it was coming from and that's how I was getting it not at all she really did think that Tom was just like this master at like, you know, oh, I take this money and I invest it and I turn it into more money or, you know, whatever. So, uh, I mean, it's kind of karma for her when you think about it because when you marry somebody purely for the lifestyle that they're going to provide for you and you live high on the hog for so many years and then all of a sudden it's like, well, now you got to pay back for the rest of your life for all the like rich upscale living that you were going through. <laughs> And the underlying energy here, you guys, despite what anything is being perceived online or the way that she's coming across, because, you know, she is coming across in kind of not great ways, um, she really is pissed. She's mad. She feels like an idiot. She's like, oh my God, you tricked me. What the hell am I responsible for now because of you? Like, she really does feel like, oh my God, like, I don't even know what the hell to do. See, feeling utterly and completely trapped and feeling like it was all Tom's fault that he got her into this mess and that he manipulated her as well as everybody else. She's like, how did I not know this? Oh my goodness, she's, she's mad. She's going to end up having to pay for all this. The judgment comes with the Ace of Coins and the Ten of Coins. Erica's going to be spending the rest of her life working her ass off to pay back a lot of this because Ferret's talking about, you know, it's, 
the lawsuit victims, it's the IRS, it's, she better pray to God that they don't try to come after her for money laundering when Tom was transferring money into her accounts because yes, she like readily accepted it. I mean, we're not gonna like doubt, you know, that or dispute that or whatever, but she didn't ask where it came from and she just assumed like, oh, it's fine. You know, you're a lawyer, you know what you're doing and everything. And now that she's being told behind the scenes, like, hey, the IRS is coming. They're gonna start saying you guys were money laundering. Like, you know all that art? You know all those purses? Well, Tom was actually using those to launder money and clean money. You know, you buy all these expensive goods that are worth something because you can turn around and flip them later. And what Spirit is saying is, you know, Erica trying to say like, no, that purse was a gift. That's not marital property. No, that painting is mine. That wasn't marital property. It's she's very well aware with her, you know, because she obviously has a legal team around her. She is very, very well aware that she is going to end up being responsible somehow, some way and having to pay back at least a portion of anything that has gone on, whether that means you're going to be stuck with a tax bill all the way down to we're going to like make you pay this $25 million. So even though it is obviously coming across as her being extremely selfish and wanting to hold on to everything in her mind, it's, I'm gonna have to turn around and sell those things so I can pay things back anyways. So she's looking at it as more of an insurance policy. But Spirit is saying Erica is gonna have to really pay a shit ton of money for the rest of her life. Like we're gonna see Erica writing books. We're gonna see her going on tour. She's gonna be like, oh, look, I came out with a makeup line. She's really gonna be doing whatever she has to do to be able to pay this stuff off. Let me see, is, there, is Erica gonna face any actual criminal charges? Thank you. No, definitely comes up that she's gonna get her karma. <laughs> Honestly, it's gonna depend on how she handles herself going forwards. If the courts and the judges and all of that see her being willing to work with them to recover money to be forthcoming about like whatever info she has you know doing that kind of stuff then it's like okay you're being compliant and you're working with us and you're trying to help us and we understand however if she continues the way that she is where people are believing that she has no empathy for what's happened or that she's still more concerned about what she's gonna get out of everything or saving her own ass instead of being like, oh my God, Tom screwed all of us. Then to make an example out of her and to punish her for not having, you know, for not working with them, then yes, it could end up coming down to that. And she, that's the last thing that she's expecting. She's still expecting you guys are gonna come after me for the financials. She's preparing herself for that. She knows that that's what's coming, you know, but she's not expecting the jail time stuff. And it really is something that might end up on the table. So I hope that Erica has decent people in her life who are gonna advise her better on how, you know, you don't help yourself sometimes when you have this attitude. So anyways, guys, I love you all so much. I'm gonna go ahead and end that here. I will probably look more into this stuff, you know, later on, like I said, there's just so much around it and I haven't had time to 
catch up on every single thing but i was just like okay does tom have any money where is it and is erica gonna end up getting in trouble or having to pay for it so i love you guys all so much i will see you again soon make sure you like comment subscribe all the information will be linked down below for booking your own personal private reading joining my patreon or follow me on instagram bye guys